Hey, it's Meg. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we're talking all about should you put pricing on your website as a branding photographer? And I really wanna empower you to make the right choice for you and your business and not just put pricing on your website because you see someone else doing it. We're gonna talk about the pros and the cons of putting your pricing on your website in this video. So first off, I actually did not put my pricing on my website for the first three and a half years of my business. And I just recently added it going on year four to my website. And I want to talk about why that is. So the biggest thing is first I became a mom. I became a mom. I have a newborn son and I don't have time to do sales calls and connection calls is what I like to call them but I just don't have time to connect with every single lead potential client on the phone anymore. And so that was a big motivating factor to me to um, put my pricing on my website. And the next thing is that I finally, finally feel confident in my branding, in my website, in my portfolio on the website of my branding clients. And I'm just at a place where I feel like my branding, my, my pricing services guide that I just recently created, all of it just matches my level of service and what clients can really expect working with me. And I don't, I didn't feel like I really had that before. So I didn't feel the confidence that by putting my pricing on my website, I would still be attracting the right clients. And the last big reason I personally recently switched to pricing on the website is that I'm booked out three months. So I don't need clients tomorrow or even next month. In fact, if they wanted a photo shoot in the next month or two, I have to turn them away. So I'm not booking clients until four months out. So I don't feel that urgency that I need clients now. Okay, so let's get into the pros and the cons of putting your pricing on your website. Number one biggest um, benefit to putting your pricing on your website is that you're going to save so much time in your business now not doing you know, connection and sales calls with every single person who's interested in working with you. By putting your pricing on your website, you're pre-qualifying your leads. And this means that People who don't have the budget to work with you right now, they're not going to fill out an inquiry. They're not going to reach out to you. They're going to go somewhere else because they see that your pricing is over their budget. And so this is a great way to eliminate all those sales calls with the wrong type of clients who, isn't, who aren't a match for what you offer. The next big benefit I've noticed to having my pricing on my website now is that you are going to attract a new clientele. You're going to attract only that, you know, high caliber entrepreneur who is probably already very successful in business, or maybe they are a tech company startup and they have a budget to afford your prices. And so you're going to attract the right people as long as you have a beautiful website, which is speaking for itself and your portfolio, you know, that's going to do the talking for you, the selling, if you will, for you. <laughs> And this way, you know, it's just full transparency. I've noticed like a lot of high caliber, high performing entrepreneurs, they love that full transparency. They don't want to waste time. They don't want to get on the phone with two or three brand photographers. They just want to know what do you offer? What's included? They already love your work because they've seen your images and they just want to make sure it is in their budget and take the next steps to book the shoot and just start planning. Another interesting benefit I've noticed from putting my pricing on my website now is that with that full transparency comes zero negotiation. Like people see my prices, I send them my beautiful pricing guide and there's no negotiation, there's no hesitation on the phone. Sometimes I would get really connected and like really excited with a client that I'm talking to on the phone and maybe they say, you know, I'm above their budget and I just quickly offer discounts or I quickly, you know, lower my prices because I just, I'm so excited to work with them and I really wanna serve them, but that's not good. You know, it's not, we never wanna lower our prices. We always want to, challenge and inspire our clients to really rise up to our level and really invest in the best brand photography for them. Did I mention saving time? Okay, I did already mention this, but it deserves another mention because as entrepreneurs, our 
time is our currency. Let me repeat that again. Our time is our currency. And so if you can save one to five hours a week, instead of going back and forth via email or on a phone call, a sales connection call, and just like if they're already ready to book you and you just go straight into sending them the invoice, like why not? You're saving so much precious time. All right, let's get into the cons of putting your pricing on your website now. So the biggest con is that you're going to lose leads. That's just the way it is. You're not gonna get as many people who are open to talking with you on the phone or wanna book that call to get to know you more and hear more about your services. And so that's the biggest downfall is you will lose leads, you won't get as many inquiries. So you have to be okay with that. And the next con, and this goes with you know not taking the time to get them on the phone, you won't stand out. I found that, you know, us as brand photographers, it's still relatively a new niche. And so clients don't know our value beyond just like this many photos included, here's the price. They don't know all that we do to plan and support them in a successful brand photo shoot. And when you get them on the phone, you can really stand out and be that photographer who takes that extra step to tell them, hey, it's not just the photos and the three hours of time that you're paying for, it's actually all of this. And I'm gonna support you in this. I'm super excited to work with you. I can't wait to work with you. What do you say? You know, like just taking a few minutes to really do that. And the last thing I wanna leave you with is three questions to ask yourself to make sure you're making the right choice for you and your business in terms of putting your pricing on your website or not. The first question is, do you truly not have any time to do sales calls anymore in your schedule because your business is just thriving? Or is it more of an issue of you're nervous and you don't want to do them? I would really encourage you to get over that fear, you know, even if you're an introvert, even if you feel like you suck at sales and just get out there and do it because it's the only way you're gonna really build confidence in talking about what you do and what you offer and getting excited to tell people about it. And that's all sales is, is you're just communicating like all the value that you have to offer this person and if it's a good fit. The next question to seriously ask yourself is, do you want to book more clients now? Or do you need to book more clients now? Or are you pretty booked up the next few months and you're okay with losing leads and clients because you will lose leads, you will lose clients by putting pricing on the website versus taking that extra step to talk to them on the phone and then share your pricing. Um, so really, really consider this, especially if you are new in business, you're not booked up and you just want clients quickly um, versus you know someone who is really busy in their business, they can hardly keep their head above water and you're getting tons of clients booking. You know Those are two very different um, places in your business. The last question I want you to ask yourself is, how is my current website, branding, portfolio, my pricing and services guide, how do you feel about that? Do you feel very confident? Or do you feel like you could probably communicate your value even better if you were to get the client on the phone? Thank you for watching today. I know this is a hot topic in the photography industry and there's no right or wrong way. It's just what is the best way for you. So I truly hope this video has helped you with really weighing the pros and cons and deciding what is the best decision for you and the health of your business right now. Let me know in the comments how you liked this, you know, are you gonna put pricing on your website? Are you gonna not put pricing on your website? I'm here to support you. I also have a course and a mastermind to help support you in feeling more confident in sales and your service and your client experience so you can raise your prices confidently and one day put them on the website and still book your clients. And please subscribe, please like the video. It really encourages me to continue to make more videos for you.